three. Let's get right into it. Ooh, it's going a little too fast. Slow it down. All right, let's see what's going on here. Look at Clay not even paying attention. Pick and roll. What is Wiggins doing? All right, so it's a screen, and they're clearly switching. So all they have to do is switch. So Wiggins should just be taking this guy. Instead, he jumped up to try to block the pass, and that messes up the whole defense. That's what happens. All right, next play. They do ISO, and then Wiggins helps out. Like, what are you doing? Wiggins should have just stayed right there. Leaves Horford wide open for a wide open shot. And then what? what's up with this? What is up with this? Why are there two guys over here? He misses the shot, but somebody should be over there. I think it's Steph. So they go and double. He misses. Hot potato. And then wide open. Screen and roll. Look at Horford not step up. Look at Horford. What are you doing? This is Steph Curry and you're not going to step up. Oh, okay. You're just going to give him a wide open shot. Cool. And then now Jalen gives the middle wide open. That's what happens when you don't cover the middle. And here comes another. Oh, no. And he gave up the middle again. That's what happens when you give up the middle. You got to force him baseline. If you give up the middle, it's going to be either a floater or a drive and kick out. Look at this. What is going on here? So right now, for some reason, they have Steph on there, the transition defense. This guy needs to take him, tell Steph to go to the corner. But they don't, oh, now they do it. They do it late. And then the big man gets manhandled, literally. Horford just backed him down into oblivion. It's because it wasn't a big man. It was just a bigger man than Steph. And then see what happens? He let him go middle. Like you're letting him go middle. There's no help there, really. Not the way you think it is. You got to force him baseline. If he goes baseline, he got he has to stop. But if he goes middle, he has everything to work with. It breaks down the whole defense. Goes middle, and then that's all that happens. That's what the NBA is. Just let the guy drive to the middle of the field or the middle of the court. Steph has a wide open guy. He, was at, he should have passed that one. Let me show you what I mean. Like he made the basket, but it's not really a good read. You have two guys on you. He should have really passed it there. And then you have a three point shot. It went in because of the magnets, obviously. Like, come on now. Look at no one's in the corner. No one guards the corner at all or the middle. I don't I don't understand what they're doing here. Is this a zone? Like what are they doing? It looks like almost a zone. Leaves him open in the middle and then look at the corner. It's like a triangle almost between these three guys. That's why you really shouldn't play zone, because the middle of every zone, except for 1-3-1, one, one, is always wide open. And that's all you do. You attack the middle of 2-3-3-2, two, three, three, two, and then it breaks down the whole zone. Backdoor cut. He's overplaying, so you hit him with the backdoor cut. Look at Zero. He's overplaying. He's face guarding. So what are you, what are you taught when you're being face guarded? Go right back door and slip behind the door. See, he's overplaying. He can't stop that. For whatever reason, he's overplaying the wing with no baseline help. See, right there, that's what you want right there. You saw that, guys? You see how I always say, stop letting him drive to the middle. Make him drive baseline. 
this is what you want right here. This is what every coach teaches. You want him to go baseline like this. You don't want him to come this way because there's no help. You want him to go this way because then there's a deadline coming. There's an end line coming. See, that's what happens. Whenever you go baseline, all right, they scored. All right, that's what you want, though. It's a lot harder to score from the baseline. It's a lot sloppier. It's just no angle. So many benefits. That was almost a double dribble. Clay with the step back. And then Tatum just jumped. I don't know why he jumped. He should have just shuffled over and put a hand up. Whoa. That was that was sloppy. This was like almost by accident. So Draymond strips him from behind and it goes to the player and then this guy slips. The guy passes to him. Look, Steph could have, or whoever this is. What I think that's a pool or whatever. He should have stepped up and stolen that pass or at least batted it down. So you had him going baseline and then you let him spin to the middle. Look, he's let him go baseline, but then look, he sees Draymond, so then he spins back to the middle. And once he goes middle, it's over. You can't do anything once he goes middle. The whole defense is broken down. He gets his own rebound and puts it in. All right, no help. He just consumes the whole middle and then just throws it away. Wiggins is just too tall. Baseline, throws it at the top, no one on Tatum, jump shot, right through. I don't know why no one guarded Tatum, they just stayed in the paint. There's some confusion going on right here. Tatum pulls up, wide open. Because look at the confusion, look at Steph. He, it's like he doesn't know who to guard, he's like, wait, 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 what? And then lets him score. Are we going to get a magnet on this? Yep. Let's see why this happened, though. It's because Al Horford feels the need to not step up. Look at Al Horford just feeling the need to give NBA players wide open shots. <laughs> They've been doing that all series, just letting guys shoot. Like, as if they can't shoot. As if they're not the Warriors. Uh... I guess. So he spins middle. Like I said, once you go middle, it is over. Tatum is way bigger, and that's what happens. You don't cover the middle. That's a kickball, almost. And then no one steps up with Wiggins. I know it's a bigger guy, like, but actually, yeah, he did the right thing. Because you can't give up the corner three. He did the right thing there. But Jalen Brown, why didn't he step up? Yeah, this guy's in front of you, but you got to fight to get in front of him and help out. Jalen Brown stays behind this guy, and then that allows him to drive in. Marcus Smart, second turnover in a row. I don't know what he was thinking there. That really hurt the team, and then no one steps up. Boston gets a stop. That's why they tell you to bounce pass when you're going towards the basket because it's hard to get a hand on it. All right, next play, they double. No one goes up. They rotate, actually, perfectly. Well, not perfectly. They just end up getting to their spots. And then Williams is just bigger than him. He's the biggest guy on the court, I believe, right now. All right, so you have two guys here, and neither guy, watch this, neither guy comes off of the screen. Neither guy jumps out. They just stay behind. And he misses, luckily. And then the lead pass, he misses it, Jesus. Yeah, how many times have we seen this type of play? Jumps and then leaves them open. You think you're affecting it, but you're not. The magnets are a lot more handy than your defense. Right stuff? Yep. Uh, 
Wow. Yeah, this is the game that Boston wins. They're just getting cheap buckets on them. And the Warriors are giving up the middle. Backdoor. Overplaying. Nice pass. That was beautiful right there. That was a thing of beauty. No one steps up. I don't understand what type of defense that was. He missed the shot, though, somehow. But they end up getting three out of it, I bet. Yep. Clay Thompson, like, never misses. <laughs> He's, like, automatic. Ooh. And then they fall for the fake instead of staying on Steph Curry, the best shooter ever. Like, why wouldn't you just stay on him? And then you just let Jason Tatum spot up. Come on, bro. You see him get screened, you got to run around. You can't just stay in the paint. I'm sick of seeing that, bro. They just keep doing that in the NBA. Your brother gets picked and you don't help him out. There's supposed to be a switch on that. You'd rather watch him get... Uh, oh, my God. Whoa. So, finally, Al Horford steps up. This should have been a foul. Gives him a high five, and it goes in. Oh, they called it. They called it. It was a four-point play. Four-point magnet play. What the hell? Why did he shoot that? That was literally an off-balance shot with the magnet. Like, look at this. He's off-balance, barely in position to shoot it, and just throws it up. Magnet. Like, it barely even touches the net. Like, it's just right in. Like, come on now. But the NBA is so real. They got guys going around screens and not really contesting shots. It looks like they're contesting, but they're not. That hand is not affecting a damn thing. Marcus Smart. He needs magnets on all his shots. He can't shoot for anything. Tatum's trying to go middle. He's getting locked up and then goes right by him. Let's see if anyone stops ball. Clay tries to. No one gets the corner. They did that on purpose, guys. Look at 32. 32, get to the corner. This is your man. What? Do you, why is he still in the paint? I'm trying to figure out why number 32 is still in the paint. One of these two guys has to go to the corner. Just one of them. There's, look at this. Five guys in the paint. And they have one, two, three guys open. What's wrong with that picture? Like, I don't get that. And then no one runs out. They let him shoot. And right in. No one steps up on Clay. That's right in. He doesn't miss. If you're not going to guard him, it's going to go right in. They finally switch correctly. And then he switches back. And they rotate terribly. That was a terrible rotation. And Marcus Smart makes it off the magnet. There's no way in hell. He just knows when the magnets are activated, bro. That's what I've noticed. He knows when to go at those magnets. He realizes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, off the screen. That's what it was. And then a late step up. That's all that was. Oh, wait, what? Pritchard, right to Tatum, right to the corner. Marcus Smart, wide open. Magnet, nope, not this time. They said too many. They said you've had too many opportunities. Wait, whoops. Oh, that's a travel. But he passes it to the corner. Williams decided to help instead of run out, and that's what happens. All right, next play. Tatum's just back and forth, sizing them up, right to the basket. Yeah, Boston's the better team in this game. Screen and a double, and a no rotation, and a Steph Curry magnet shot. Now, 
Give it back to Tatum. Right to the middle. <laughs> that was like middle slash baseline because it was at the top of the key. It's it's tough. At the top of the key, it's tough because it's baseline slash middle. Like It's just so tough to guard that. And Mr. Smart with another Magnet 3. He's had like five of those this game. Clay wants to shoot that. You can tell he wants he wants to score. He gets blocked from behind. Yeah, this game is basically over. Boston was destined to win this one. Golden State never really played defense properly this game. Actually, neither team did, to be honest. When Marcus Smart hits like six threes, you know something's up. He, this man's got like 20, 30-something points. And that's the way the game ends, guys. We'll do game two at some point. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.